Hi Shoebox friends, welcome to my Paw Patrol Palooza. This is Denise with D. Rogers. Today I am packing up Paw Patrol boxes for Operation Christmas Child. I originally planned on doing four boxes, but ended up doing six. So I'm just going to take you in to a peek of me packing these boxes up. I'll pack or box up two of them for you and then at the end I'll unbox one for you and I'll give you a peek into each box. So this was on a Saturday. It was actually a very stormy day. So you'll see my puppy in the background very nervous. When storms come he gets very scared. Um, so anyway let's start. This was for a boy two to four. I put in a little shopping bag that I got from the Dollar Tree, just a small little tote. All the flat things on the bottom first, some stickers, our letter, a little set of stickers of Paw Patrol, and now we're going to speed it up. I'm adding more stickers, a little coloring book, a dress up sticker book, a reusable sticker book, that's from Melissa and Doug, a coloring book paint with water, some tattoos with directions, a little golden Paw Patrol book that I got on clearance, and I love this Melissa and Doug magnetic puzzle. It comes with two puzzles, a little carrying case, and fits perfectly in a shoebox. That's a little puppet my friend made for me, a composition book, and a cute little Paw Patrol t-shirt. That's a bandana from Hobby Lobby, and a water bottle. So we're going to stuff that water bottle up with some Paw Patrol socks. I'm adding his cross from Oriental Trading. All the little things, a Paw Patrol figurine, some Paw Patrol finger puppets, a mustache whistle, and some erasers. I don't want to damage that straw, so I don't want to overfill it. I'm trying to be very careful. And I wanted to add one more little bracelet. That is a You Are Possum bracelet from Oriental Trading. I added a straw, his hygiene items, uh, some underwear, some crayons, and a uh, pencil sharpener and a face mask. I also added some stickers in there. They're foam stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby of puppies that the little boy can dress up. His wow item is Rocky the Recycle Pup in one of his trucks. It's kind of tricky to fit in there. And then those were his school supplies. And then his stuffed pup is Trekker, the Paw Patrol pup. I'm adding some erasers, a glue stick and scissors, a washcloth, and another little rubble truck. And this is Marshall, the fire dog truck. And I got that from Walmart on clearance. I want to give him a ball, so I'm trying to see which one will work the best. And I love these little Christmas hats. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. And I'm also adding some skateboard stickers for him. That's my lid. It says Jesus loves you with a picture of rubble. I'm adding my sticker and on my boxes where I've used a cardboard box and I've wrapped it, I like to put tape on top so that the paper stays nice when the processing tape goes over it. Okay, so now we're going to show you the girl's box. And there's lots of pink for this little girl, age two to four, Paw Patrol themed box. That's a little bookmark that the Foothills family made for me. And I'm adding that to this sweet box. I've put in her stickers, our family letter, and some skateboard stickers as well. There's a little puppy, a puppy puppet, some wash, a washcloth, her dress up stickers, her coloring book, a paint with water, and a cute little board book that I got from the Dollar Tree featuring Sky and Everest. And that's her composition book. And I gave her all three pair of underwear in the original packaging. That was a 4T 
and I gave her two toothbrushes with her hygiene. I got a cute little top and shorts. Those were jumping beans from Kohl's featuring Sky and a cute little hat I got from Dollar General with mittens. I'm adding her school supplies and a clip pen and some washable markers. Those are her crayons and a pretty little necklace that I'm tucking inside of this little Paw Patrol container. That's a little hair scrunchie. And this is Everest, her stuffy. That's the girl Paw Patrol. And this is Skye in her truck that I also got from Walmart. And this is another wow. This is Skye in her Sky vehicle. That's a little cross necklace, sharpener, glue stick. This is a cute little snack container I wanted to get in there. I've added all the girl Paw Patrol puppets and her erasers in there. Those are her scissors, a mini tie sky beanie, and I've put her coloring book and paint with water in the back. It says, hello beautiful, Jesus loves you. I've added some puppy stickers and a backpack from the Dollar Tree. And that one is all done. And it turned out so pretty. And when she opens it up, it just looks bright looking up at her. I'm adding my label. And I did put tape on top of this paper as well. So this is a peek into all the boxes so far. That's what they look like. That one has slippers inside of it. That's the girl's box. And this was the fire patrol box or featuring Marshall. And now I'm going to show you the last box I packed. Okay, that was fun. And now I'm going to unbox one for you. This was the sixth, either the fifth or the sixth box that I did not have planned, but I had enough Paw Patrol things in my stash to continue making boxes. And as tired as I was of making Paw Patrol boxes, I thought I could still bless two more children and these were really cute. So I'm gonna share this one with you. I'm using a regular shoe box. Most of these um, Paw Patrols, as you saw in the video, were from regular shoe boxes that I had around my house. So let's take a look at what I packed for this little boy, age two to four. The cover is again that Paw Patrol cute wrapping paper. Um, this shoe box, cardboard shoe box, is pretty standard size. Uh, very, very close, even a tad smaller than an Operation Christmas Child shoe box. And again, I put the um, duct tape around the side to cover up some of the print on the shoe box. So when he opens his box on the lid, it says, You are possum and Jesus loves you. I just hand wrote that. And then on the inside, this is what he'll see when he opens his box. All right, in the back, we'll pull that out first. He has a Paw Patrol paint with water book with Chase right on the front. And I've added two um, watercolor brushes on the side here for him. He has a Spot the Difference Paw Patrol book. Uh, this was from the Dollar Tree. These are very cute. You just go in and you can spot the differences in the two pictures. These are really great for kids this age. Any age, really. I used to love these when I was little. All right, let's see. Let's take out his water bottle. He has a Paw Patrol water bottle. I think, yep, I got these for 14 cents. I can't read my own handwriting. It's either 14 or 44 cents. They were originally $2. These were from Dollar General. And I'm glad I took this out because I want to take that price tag right off. But that's what it looks like. It has Chase right on the front. And the key with water bottles, as I mentioned, is filling them up. So when I open his water bottle up, he has a mustache whistle. And inside, he has a cross from Oriental Trading, a little yellow cross. He has a little bracelet. I get these. It says, You are Possum from Oriental Trading. 
And then I stuck in another puppet. That's the main boy character from Paw Patrol. He has a little puppy eraser. And this, I think this is Tracker. These are these little puppets that we all got from Walmart. Well, maybe not all of us, but a lot of us found them. And what else is in here? He has a little rubble puppet. And two more erasers. And then on the very bottom, if I can pull them out, are his socks. And I think this is, um, I think this is Zuma. That's the name of that puppy. He has a little, um, like a little baseball, bouncy ball. And then he has more finger puppets right on top. I love laying these right on top. They look really cute. Uh, there's Zuma and this is Marshall. He has a truck. This is, uh, what's his name? Rocky, I think. He is the recycle pup. So he's sitting right in front of that truck. If you can see him on camera. And I got these at Walmart on clearance. I think they were $3 each. He has a nice soft washcloth. He has a small little chase figurine. It's actually um, velvety to the touch. So very nice tactile puppy. And then here's his stuffy. It's a little cute little chase pup. See if Chase will sit up for me. There we go. There's his pencil sharpener. Those are from Amazon. He has a little, um, I think his name is Rex puppy. I think he's the dino puppy. He can talk to dinosaurs. <laughs> That's a little, another little truck for him. He has two markers and a click pen. I gave him these flashcards. Paw Patrol flashcards, same or different. These are from the Dollar Tree, and I think these are okay in any language. You don't have to be able to read it to be able to tell what you're looking for on these. And because I couldn't fit a coloring book in here, I put in a play pack, a grab and go play pack, which has a small coloring book, stickers, and a few crayons. This is his composition book with the Paw Patrol sticker on the front. Here's his little puppet that my friend made for me. Little hand puppet. Here's his Mighty Pup Power little golden book that I got on clearance. Here's his pencil pouch. And that's packed flat in the box. Here's his underwear. There's a pair of underwear. Here's his crayons. I gave him some crayons in addition to what's in the play pack. I feel like those four little crayons in the play pack are never enough. I gave him some puppy dog castanets. He has a glue stick. Some puppy dog stickers. a Paw Patrol, a big sticker, Paw Patrol. And then all of his pencils were tucked in the back of the box. And he's got some a really nice selection of Ticonderoga and some novelty. And I love these new um, colored pencils with the grippers that I found at Ross Dress for Less. And his shirt is another one of those shirts I found at Ross Dress for Less that says Chase on the front. Just a cute little tank top. And then on the bottom, I gave him another play pack. So he has two play packs. This is his hygiene bag, which has some Paw Patrol Band-Aids toothbrushes, uh, comb, nail files, nail clippers, and a lip balm. His backpack is a drawstring puppy. 
These are so darling. These were donated to me by a friend. I love them. They were perfect for his the Paw Patrol boxes. He has my Dress Up Friends sticker and activity book with Chase right on the front. I got a whole bunch of these on clearance from CVS. And on the very bottom, well, he has a pair of scissors. Those were from Hobby Lobby. He has a back, um, a bandana. Those are the bandanas from Hobby Lobby also. And then his stickers. He has some Paw Patrol tattoos with some directions. Our family letter. Paw Patrol stickers. Some puppy dog stickers. And some Paw Patrol skateboard stickers. So there's a whole bunch in there. So that completes my Paw Patrol Palooza. I pray these six boxes bring joy to the hearts of these children, as well as to the hearts of their parents. Thanks for watching, God bless you, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.